<laughs> Poor dog. Welcome to Vera's bedroom. Yes, here we are again. <laughs> we have a And there really is a puppy. Yeah, there's dog. a puppy and he's right here. There is oh, he's so cute. <laughs> he's so adorable. Okay. So we have another super chat question that came in and we're going to learn all about Angela's dream and yes. what it really means. And just so as you know, if you have a dream or a psychic question that you would like to know the answer, you can always ask us during the super chat that we have during our live show on Saturday, and Vera will answer you then. Or you can get a letter question or what have you on our website. And all that's in the description below. Okay, Vera, are below. you ready for Angela's dream? Yes, below. I like that. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. All right. So here we go, Angela's dream. She's in a parking lot and she's heading into an office where she used to work at. And there's a gentleman in there that she has a crush on and she thinks that he's in there. And she says, I believe the weather was winter outside because I can see ice patches on the ground, but when I get inside, I'm wearing a black jumpsuit that's made for summer. I'm walking in the office and about to enter the manager's room and I see three ladies. One of them is a lady that I became very close to when I worked there and she's very sweet. She has a headset on and she seems to be listening to something. And the other lady in the room who seems to have reddish brown hair has a very warm, inviting smile and she says that she is um, the manager. And I realized I'm interrupting so I whispered, I'll come back. And I go back to the hallway and I see another lady and I high five her because she's really nice and we're so happy that, you know, she's back. Then she looks towards the reception area and there's a lady there and she and and Angela's like, oh God, she's still here. <laughs> and she's very aware that the soul triber is in the office or on his way. So the soul triber, I believe, is somebody that she knows that she's meeting in the future? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm apparently. I'm thinking so, because that's what you kind of said before for uh-huh. Angela. But this is a different lady. Yes. Yeah. But Angela's asked a question in the past about she, the soul oh, okay. triber coming okay. in. Okay. And she says that she's very excited to see him, too. And she makes sure, oh, she makes sure that she looks nice for him, because he's on his way. Mm-hmm. And she's wearing, she's still wearing that black jumpsuit. And so she wants to know what... She likes that black jumpsuit. Yeah, she dreams about that. And she would like to know uh, what this dream is about and who the lady with the reddish brown hair is. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, it's totally not what you think it is. (laughs) (laughs) Well, kind of, but not really. Um, You're really dreaming about, you're really on the other side, is basically what you're doing. Um... And the emotionality before you fell asleep was part of this because you knew that this is where you were going to go. And you're going to, you went, I'm jumping. So the weather outside is winter, but you're dressed for summer. So that means you're not prepared for a situation. So some situation that's coming up, you're not prepared for. So, but you're using your office as an office on the other side, but really that's where you're, uh, master teacher is and that lady with the reddish brown hair is your uh, master teacher and you caught them talking about your chart about your life and you knew you weren't supposed to be in there because they're over there telling you you're not supposed to be in here so that's why you you left but you're also jumping up and down because you're so happy to see her and knowing that she's helping your guides guide you in this situation that you're not prepared for so that you're really excited that she's back but then you still have that little sticker in your foot that keeps coming back uh, that negative lady so but really treat her like a gnat you know it's just oh, it's, she, it's inconsequential don't give her uh, any kind of power or time or that kind of thing so um, yeah you're un- interrupting your guides and you're under th- on the other side working out your life chart regarding the soul triber. I think that's what... Is there a soul triber in this one? Yes, there or whoever was. whoever she likes. Yes, yeah. no, you, you're whoever right. you have a crush on. She did like say that. that. Yes. And then you got the owl and forgiveness. Oh. And that's an oracle card from... Uh, where is it from? Wisdom of Avalon. Colette Baron Reed. So the owl lends you eyes to see through the darkness. So whatever that situation that you're not ready for, you have your totem there to help you see through it and illuminates the truth. So the owl reminds you to be honest with yourself 
and all is well when you have the owl backing you up because it's a powerful ally. It helps you to pierce the darkness and that's the best kind of uh, totem to have. Yes. Especially right now when you don't have that yeah. situation in hand. And right now also you have forgiveness oh. and that's a time to release negative energy surrounding any unresolved relationships that you may have had and work through those so that whenever you get to this guy that you have a crush on you guys will be able to work things out you got to remember he's got to do the same thing right. so you may not do it together sometimes and you're going to feel like you're never going to meet but you will wow great great information to have yeah. and i love that owl totem isn't that cool that's really cool mm -hmm. makes me think of mother god too, yeah because asna yeah. also has the owl totem yeah that's really cool so she's being guided i love how how a lot um, of guidance yeah mm -hmm. because I, we're never alone we always have it and it's always within it's your dreams isn't that amazing you've got the answers i love uh, the the example of Angela's dream too because here mm -hmm. she goes to the other side and she comes back with the memory of visiting with her master t-shirt but she did, yeah she thinks it's office workers right. and this one lady that she really likes is looks like her got her master oh, teacher no wonder yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so <laughs> That is really cool. Yeah. I love it. Well, if uh, like I said mm -hmm. before, if you have a question for Vera that you would like to know about what you do on the other side or something that's coming up for you in your life, you can check it out on our website as well as the art, all the art that we show. This is Michael mm -hmm. from, from my campus. He's back there. <laughs> He's usually bigger. But all that you can find on our website. Yeah. And, and uh, many blessings.